Indianapolis Raceway Park, home of the famous NHRA Max Rules U.S. Nationals. And a lot of drag racing has taken place here in Claremont, Indiana, but we have something a little different here on ESPN2 this week. Oh, it's drag racing, but of another kind. Diesel trucks, ladies and gentlemen, on the quarter mile. Hello again, everyone. I'm Ted Jones, and welcome to this special coverage of the DHRA Diesel Nationals. Now, we have two classes we're going to be running on the quarter mile, and I'll talk to Dan Fight to find out about that. We've got an eight-truck field of what pro street our pro street shootout guys ted these are street legal trucks their only separation is by weight 5500 pounds for our uh, all motor class 6200 pounds it's anything that they want to inject they can whether it's nitrous propane or even water so all right and then we have a street category and those guys are warming up out there right now with some time runs correct we've got our et bracket class we do that at 14 racetracks across the u.s that are running the dhra bracket racing and they're here to to be competing in that for for the weekend all right now something unusual folks look right over here there's dirt here at IRP. What's going on with this dirt, Dan? We're going to have some uh, sled pulling, are we? That's right, Ted. We did, we've done something a little different. From sitting in one spot, our fans and spectators can sit in one spot in the grandstand, see sled pulls in the afternoon, they can see drag racing in the morning and never have to leave the sands. This is the first time that we've had anyone's run sled pulls out here at IRP. We've used part of the pit area, put down a lot of dirt, and we had a great track yesterday, and we're going to have an even better one today for the finals. All right, and three classes of finals today in sled pulling, right? That's correct. We've got our three classes are street, super street, and modified. Our street, even though our street class says street, the guys are making some modifications. There are some performance issues, or some performance changes that have been made. They're also allowed a little bit of suspension, but they are limited on a single to a single turbo. Our super street guys can go to a dual turbo, but we do limit them on their size. A few more changes. And then we've got our pro guys, the so modified guys, and that's anything that's out there. Cut tires, injection, lots of weight, lots of power, and a lot of black smoke. Well, we'll have that for you later in the show. In addition, they have five classes here in the show and shine. And yes, we even have a burnout competition. We'll have that. Plus, we were talking about those modifications. We'll meet one of those manufacturers a little later in the show that helps these guys modify those trucks. Right now, though, let's get to the action. And that action comes up with the Diesel Power Pro Street Eliminator Modified. Guys, take a look right there, ladies and gentlemen, at the number six qualifier. Ted Colby from Mechanicsville, Maryland with the 2001 Dodge going against Jeff Garman out of Georgia with a 95 Dodge. Both of Cummins diesels. I'll bet you never saw a diesel pickup this fast. They blister the quarter mile. Win will be going to Colby. Stops the timers with a 1241 at 110, losing ET 1270 at 96. Now let's go to top end with Jack Corpella. Well, they say first round's the hardest, and you picked up a little from qualifying. Yeah, but I got lucky. He must have had something go wrong with him because I shouldn't have been able to beat him. Yeah, yeah, I got lucky. More in it for next round? No, that's all I've got, but maybe I'll get lucky again. You never know. Our next pair of competitors will feature a Chevrolet against the Dodge Darren Morrison out of Cairo, Georgia, against Buck Spurl, the Chevy with one of those famous Duramax diesels. Well, you can tell they're diesels. Look at that black smoke pouring out right there. And a foul start for Buck Spurl. He left the line a little bit early, so the automatic win will go to Darren Morrison. Look at the diesel smoke pour out of those twin stacks. 1085, what an ET, 120 miles per hour. Let's go to top end. Well, a win's a win. I'm sure you'll take it any way you can get it. That's right, and I will. Now, what, what's wrong, though? It sounds like something uh, not running right here. I don't know. We're going to find out. Well, we'll let you go back, do some thrashing, get ready for round two. Boy, that truck does not sound good. He may have some serious problems as we get a good look there at the Domingo Jimenez. Came all the way up here from Miami, Florida, folks. You think these guys aren't serious? Ford F-250 against Kevin Meredith from Bowling Green, Kentucky with a 2001 Dodge. You notice the nitrous tank. You can see it in the bed of the truck. Both these guys running nitrous oxide injection. Both of them four-wheel drive. Really laid off the line was Jimenez, so Kevin Meredith will pick up the easy win, 11.45, 117 miles per hour. Pete's Domingo's, 13.65, let's go to top end. Nice smooth win, looks like you're cruising to the semis. Trying to, man. When, one step at a time is all we can do. The number one qualifier will get the buy run, that is Mark Tech out of Illinois with a 2001 Chevy, the Duramax diesel. 
takes his time off the line. You know what? He's going to take his time going down, too. So here's the way that they will pair up in the semifinals. Take a look at that as we look at Spatech. He's going to stop the timers with a 20-second ET. We'll remind you this ESPN2 Speed World coverage of the DHRA Nationals from Indianapolis is brought to you by DHRA, where diesel is not just an engine, it's a passion. And by Edge Products, manufacturer of high-quality diesel performance. We'll be back with more.